Welcome back. Read aloud, share your reading, and reading aloud to another. We start with read aloud. Buddy, level D. Buddy the bear. Written by Anthony Curran, illustrated by Marcus Cutler. Focus question: How does Buddy the bear change during the story? Remember to get ready to share. My favorite part is, or I like, to somebody in your household. If you don't have anyone, use an imaginary person to talk to. Words to know: different, far apart, fall apart, lost, loved, old, teddy bear. Buddy the bear was an old teddy bear. Buddy the bear began to fall apart. Buddy the bear lost an arm. We gave him a new one. Buddy the bear lost an ear. We gave him a new one. Buddy the bear lost an eye. We gave him a new one. Buddy the bear looked different than before. We still loved Buddy the bear just as much. All right, you need to say to somebody in your household. My favorite part is we still loved Buddy the bear. My favorite part is. Buddy the bear looked different. My favorite part is. We gave Buddy, Buddy a new eye. My favorite part is we gave Buddy a new ear. My favorite part is we gave Buddy a new arm. All right. Five seconds. Share to somebody in the household. My favorite part is ready. Go. All right. Welcome back. Share the reading. Buddy the bear. Focus question. How does Buddy the bear change during the story? So you fill in the blank when I pause. Words to know: different, fall apart, lost, loved, old teddy bear. Buddy the bear was an old teddy bear. Buddy the bear began to fall apart. Buddy the bear lost an arm. We gave him a new one. Buddy the bear lost an ear. We gave him a new one. Buddy the bear lost an eye. We gave him a new one. Buddy the bear looked different than before. We still loved Buddy the bear just as much. The end. Okay, share the writing. Take out a、uh, sheet of paper or a writing journal. Write this down. Buddy the bear got a new blank period. So you could choose arm, ear, eye, or something of your own. All right. Now, once you're done with writing, make sure you have a capital letter in the first word of the sentence, two finger space between words, an end mark in this case a period, and the sentence should make sense. And once you're done, 
replay the video, put it on mute, and re-allow to somebody in your home. Until you re-allow to somebody, you don't really develop the skills of a good reader, of a skillful reader, of a lifelong reader. If you have a tough time saying it, reading the book aloud on your own, listen to the video a few times until you can say it. If it's still too difficult, get a book that is at an easier level. The book that we just read is level D. You could pick a level C or a level B, all right, or even level A or even an AA. It just depends where you are. And read it to somebody. All right. If you're watching this through YouTube, don't forget to smash the subscribe and the like, and we'll see you in the next video.